Engineer 775 working on my next solar project. This one is converting an existing sell all grid tie system into a hybrid battery backup system. Behind me, you can see the two arrays, it's about uh, six kilowatts of solar that have in phase inverters on them, meaning those two arrays are producing AC power, which feeds into the system here at the solar disconnect coming here so the solar panels are coming directly here and then they feed over to the solar meter base which we need to have pulled so we can uh, add our battery backup system and obviously the, the main grid so what we're going to do is we're going to add a disconnect and uh, we're going to basically take um, the AC power down into the basement into a transfer switch so it's kind of like hooking up a, to me, kind of like hooking up a, a generator. And so there'll be a transfer switch in the basement. So when the power goes out, uh, she won't lose that array, those, that power. Uh, but typically a grid tie, when you, obviously when the grid goes down, so does your ability to use your solar. So this uh, customer wants to update it and uh, just add a little insurance policy, which will be a battery backup system. And so this is the, the top end of the system. And so quite a bit of work has to be done here uh, with uh, tying in and bringing that AC um, line down to the transfer switch in the basement, which you do not see. So I'll show you all that, the battery cabinet, the inverter system, transfer switch, and then a secure load or critical circuit panel next to the distribution panel. So a lot of electrical work on this job but uh, this will again provides an insurance policy for those of you that might have a grid tie system in place and would like to convert it to a battery backup it can be done thank you okay here's the bottom half We've got uh, again AGM batteries they're absorbed glass mat a lot of you have asked questions about those they do not need to be vented they're maintenance free absorbed glass mat 8D batteries this 8D is the size these are uh, three strings of four. It's a 48 volt system. Um, that's a 735 amp hour battery bank. Come over here to a, again, a, this is a 6048, a 6000 watt uh, inverter by uh, Xantrex or Schneider now. And we have a control module. So the battery home runs come in to the power distribution panel. I'm not going to take this apart, but they actually battery um, hooks on the positive here and then the negative bus bar uh, underneath there. And so what's going to happen is um, this is complete AC system, like I said, because of the end phase inverters and the interfacing with the grid. We're going to be bringing the solar in here. It's going to be a disconnect outside. And we're going to be moving some existing circuits quite a few existing circuits actually uh, the well pump and some lights and uh, kitchen circuits refrigerator freezer just the, what we c would call critical circuits we're not going to be moving the dryer or the range we're not going to move any of these double 30s or double 50s over um, we are going to move them over to the secure panel and so we'll probably have probably 12 a dozen or so uh, critical circuits and here is the automatic transfer switch that we'll be using to uh, switch auto obviously automatically if the grid goes down then the end phase inverters will feed an AC uh, load through here to the critical load panel and uh, so that's that's where we stand now uh, we're not we got probably another day's worth of work electrical work outside putting disconnects and hooking everything together and we're waiting on the power company to pull a meter base for us now and so break time thought I'd do a little video so again this is a grid tie can be converted to a battery backup system so when the power's out she'll still have water and lights on all three floors and be able to cook um, the only thing we don't have is uh, uh, the ability to heat water but we do have a little wood stove. Can't go wrong with a wood stove. It's a cute little nectar wood stove made in Australia. But anyway, that's a 
one way we can heat water and uh, I guess that's it so grid tie um, to um, battery backup is the second system the first system I showed you a week ago was uh, just a straightforward hybrid battery backup system this is a grid tie being converted to a battery backup system and then uh, hopefully um, after that I'm working on a generator backup system with um, um, a, some, a little bit of solar and then after that will be a solar wind turbine generator uh, the works backup system and so uh, a lot to these but they're they're really a neat way to go all right um, thanks for watching okay folks here's the top end of this grid tie conversion I don't think we could fit any more boxes in this small space but uh, again this is the solar is coming up from the arrays into this box and then it uh, goes down to an automatic transfer switch and then in that transfer switch it comes back up and then up to the solar disconnect which goes over goes over to um, the sell all meter and uh, also you have to put a disconnect because this is a battery backup you need to shut down the entire system so this is the photovoltaic system disconnect here to shut everything down coming off of that Xantrex inverter so it is complicated it's a little confusing but this was a sell all grid tie system and converting it to uh, uh, basically a battery backup system and so we're treating the I consider treating the that solar array when the power goes off that becomes um, basically an AC generator and uh, because it has end phase inverters on it and so an AC feed is coming in to an automatic transfer switch that detects when the grid goes down it switches over to solar feeding a critical circuit and uh, so a critical circuit panel so okay top end is complete and the uh, power company came back and set the meter back in and locked it up so we're good on the top end and just moving over circuits now on the bottom end that yeah it's got you on there now no. <laughs> okay here's the final final product the transfer switch everything is hooked together the secure load panel with about uh, 14 circuits moved over everything from well pump to uh, wash machine kitchen circuits lights throughout the house including the basement and just left the breakers it's a different box so we left the breakers in the existing we just crossed those out and the system is in bypass now waiting on inspection but we've tested it turned the grid power off and everything is good so again this is a grid tie being converted to a battery backup system thanks for watching